everybody. Welcome to SoCal Dram Tram. I'm Matt. And I'm Caesar. And today, before we get into this bottle, we just want to say if you're new here, hey, we appreciate you stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, we appreciate you sticking around. Nonetheless, everybody hit that little bell. That way you know whenever we drop a brand new video. What do we got on the bar today, Caesar? Today, we got something for your bar, my brother. That's right. Today, we got another spot. We reviewed a green spot, we reviewed a yellow spot, but now we got a red spot. That's right. Red spot, single pot distilled, Irish whiskey, aged in bourbon, sherry, and marsala. Is this, is this the spot that hits the dot? So, Red Spot Irish Whiskey. That's right, we finally got a bottle. <laughs> I think I said it back in my green, or our green spot review, which again, <laughs> you can check out days. right up here. Um, I think it's safe to say we like the spots, mm -hmm. right? And back in the green spot review, I mentioned that this one's always in my line of sight. What I mean by that, or what I meant by that was, uh, if I ever see it, I'm going to buy it <laughs> because I kind of slept on it. I was like, man, I don't know if I want to spend that much money. It goes for about 130 bucks. Um, but I was like, it's a 15 year stated Irish whiskey. That's actually not a bad price. Right. But I was always like, ah, you know, if I see it, I'll pick it up eventually. And then I saw it. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? I, I got this bottle of this and I'm, I'm going to wait on that. And then I went to go back and pick it up when I got paid and it was gone. And I didn't see it for like eight months. And yeah. then when I popped into my liquor store, Cypress, you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> they had it. And I was like, I'm going to need that red spot. <laughs> and the guy was like, I figured you did. So needless to say, I'm excited about it. Like I said, we've done the green spot. We also did a limited edition green spot last week. You can check that out up here. Yellow spot, too. I was going to say, in addition, we've done probably your favorite Irish whiskey, although I don't know if that's changed yeah. after this month uh, <laughs> of doing the yellow spot, which, again, right up here. It's review number two. Go easy on us. <laughs> but this one I'm excited. It's a 15-year age stated. It's aged in uh, ex-bourbon, ex-sherry, and uh, Marsala wine cast. Now, the green spot that we just did last week was finished in uh, Chateau Le Volbartan, AKA Bordeaux wine cask. <laughs> and we found that thing to be quite magical. Oh, yeah. So this one, and that one was a non-age statement. Like was, you can kind of figure it out as probably anywhere between 10 to 14 years, mm -hmm. but this one's a 15 year age statement. So I'm excited to see what it does. Age doesn't mean better. It just means different. Uh, but I am excited to see what it's going to be. Uh, what are you expecting as we get into this? Uh, well, I'm a firm believer counterintuitive to what the average person thinks that the longer the age statement the better it should be uh, i'm a believer that that's the way it should be but i know it doesn't always roll like that so i'm still a believer in it so i'm still expecting this to be pretty good <laughs> um as far as the nose goes i get like a 46 percent. i get a, a brand brand new energizer battery i get like a metallic -y brand new energy that's really what i'm getting folks i, I can't get behind that I'm, I'm not even <laughs> kidding i get like a brand new energy i'll say it's battery. shiny I'll, I'll say for a 15 year age um it reminds me not this flavor but just in terms of like sensation um when you have a really old bourbon and it's just super oak like, there's nothing coming off of this except oak, right? Like, there is a predominantly sharp nose to this, which is interesting for 15 years on Irish whiskey. And, and I might be one of the only dumb person, people, kids that did this, but when I was a kid, for some dumb reason, so, I got a 9-volt battery. A 9-volt battery. Put it on your tongue? And I put it on my tongue. No, nah, you ain't and the only dumb the, the, that, That's what it smells like to me. It's like that, I that guarantee sense. you 80% like... of the people watching us <laughs> did that. And if you didn't, or you say you didn't, you're a liar. <laughs> it, it's like it was almost soothing as a kid because like, 
all these enzymes and the electricity going on it's like what is this <laughs> what, what is, is this, this? <laughs> but yeah, that's what it smells like to me 30 years from now did you lick batteries as a kid you lick the <laughs> <with a> compensation <laughs> that is perfect bro oh my god <laughs> So fun, fun story. I, and again, I'm gonna tell this story because I think this needs to oh air out. Oh my god, out. that's perfect, um, bro. <laughs> so in eighth grade, we took a field trip to DC, oh, and my buddy had one of those like remember like the, the shock toys where it was like you know oh like made a of metal or, or like, yeah, 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 yeah yeah yeah. So he had one of like uh, a pack of gum, uh -huh. right? And so we were on the steps of the Capitol, and he's like, "Hey, anybody want a piece of gum?" And of course, you know, my fat ass was like, "Yeah, I'll take some gum." And I cleared. I'm like, "Ah, you sob, <laughs> right?" And then uh, he's like, "Wait, wait, it'll be fun." And so he grabs my hand and then he, he's got the thing. And he's like, anybody else want a piece of gum? And like, he and I were super close. Like we've known each other since uh. like freaking first grade. So I'm like, whatever, hand holding with this guy is not a big deal. And, uh, <laughs> grade, to you know, you, you he has to explain it. Exactly. But somebody else grabbed it. It's like, ah, but it was like slightly a less sensation yeah. than when I yeah. did it. Uh. And then we had this circle of like 10 guys oh my holding God. hands, Are pressing you? this vibrator thing. And we're just like, uh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That is fun. That's my fun story for today. Back to whiskey. Okay, so I intentionally wanted to tell a story because of the fact that I felt like this needed to air out, and it did. I'm getting less of the metallic-y sharpness now that it's aired for a few minutes. Yeah. Now I'm getting more fruit. Like, I'm getting a little bit of kind of like some grapey notes to it. A little bit of uh, pineapple even. Interesting. And some banana. Like, for sure, I'm getting like a fruit bowl here. So for me, I'm actually getting a little bit more bourbon notes out of it. Like really? A little, bit, a little bit sweeter brown sugar coming okay. out. I can get behind a little brown sugar. That is, that is flavorful. That is good. I need to take another sip. Hmm. It's got a swelling sensation. Like you, you sip it. You kind of swirl it around, you take it down the hatch, and then it kind of grows. Like my, my, that we talk about, like, you know, the Scotland snug or the, the Kentucky hug, Texas tug, things we've all made up except for the uh, Kentucky hug. It's kind of like that. Like, it's kind of like this warming sensation for me. The Irish um, swish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on that. Um, man, I'm. I get a little bit of the brown sugar on the palate, for sure. This is not as soft as I was expecting it would be, right? And again, it's not bad. It's no, just saying it's not either. as soft. It doesn't have that creamy, butteriness to it. Um, I'm wondering what water will do for this. Interesting. I'm, I'm getting like um, almost like a, like a copper banana. You're getting like a little bit of a metallic note? Yeah, metallic banana. That banana's like in there, though. Cop the banana's copper banana. There. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Almost like a lemon custard as well. I can get behind a little custard note. There's a... Uh... Okay, this is going to be off the freaking walls. <laughs> but bear with me here. You know how Shasta makes like the weird flavors yeah. for sodas? Mm -hmm. Black cherry Coke. Like a Shasta black cherry Coke? Yeah. Like there's a certain bitter syrupy quality to it. I don't know what that's coming from, but there's definitely a black sh black cherry like sweetness to it. Like there's a little bit of bitterness to it, but there's still a little bit of cherry sweetness. That's probably coming from the bourbon cast. I'm getting like a black cherry soda on this. See that? Nah, I'm gonna put some water on it though. Because I'm <laughs> curious to see what this does. Like I we keep kind of it seems like we're like hedging our bets, right? Yeah. I don't wanna say it's bad, because it's not. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it is different. Especially coming off of last week. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that's all I can think about right now. That last week review is just like... God, last how, week how was like your first kiss. Was. This is like your hundredth. <laughs> <laughs> of course, with my wife, every kiss feels like the first kiss. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> you too, okay. baby. You too, baby. <laughs> I was wondering. Every I'm like, kiss. you need to get on that. <laughs> yeah, first this kiss. This is the part of the show where Matt and Caesar try to make good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let that air for a second with the water. Kind of let it marry together. Um, I don't have any other fun electricity stories. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, while we let it sit and Mary have a little lamb. 
I like, I like that you, I, and I hope you slow it down. I like that you did that, even though the computer is going to do yeah, that for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm getting a little bit more of that oak now with the water, like that oaky vanilla. Kind of brought out more of the bourbon cast for me. Damn, the finish just goes whoo, like really like, it falls like, off a cliff. Yeah, yeah, like really, really, really quick. But as far as flavor goes, then. Ooh, there's a sour quality to it. Yeah, I definitely get that oakiness, like a little bit of pepper. Uh, it's a little bit more like. Actually, the more I let it linger, the more I really don't like it as much. I prefer this neat for sure. Yeah. There's a, there's a certain spice quality. It, it, shockingly enough, it's not pepper for me. It's 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 more of a darker spice, like a you know when you have like a Jamaican jerk chicken mm -hmm. or something like that at a restaurant. Yeah. There's like that. Not burnt, but there's like a certain seasoning that gives it a burnt quality, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, it, yeah. It's kind of like that. I don't know what that is. Um, definitely neat on yeah, this one for 100%. me. 100%. Um, again, it sounds like we're hedging our bets. I don't want to say that it's bad because it's not. It's not bad. Um, is it $130 good, though? Yeah, it's kind of where I'm coming at. Like, if if this is on the shelf and I've got even, let's let's not think about last week, right? That's gonna be really tough because yeah. of how much we love that bottle. But green spot and yellow spot, just standard green spot and yellow. Am I buying this over yellow? Am I buying this over green? And I, I don't think I am. Yeah, not in my eyes. I think I'd buy yellow before this again. Yep. But again. The one thing I will say is maybe this develops over time. Maybe yeah. when it gets more, you know, a little bit more air in it, because we cracked these today. Um, maybe it gets a little bit more, you know, it airs out a little bit. Maybe it adds a little bit something. Maybe it offers a little something more. One can only hope. Yeah. I'm thinking at 130 bucks. I like that it's a little bit higher in the ABV with 46%. I got to be honest, it's a two and a half. Um, give two and a half because again there's something to it and i'm excited to see what happens as we kind of go down the bottle of this one we may come back to this one in three months and be like oh my god you know what i mean yeah um but for now it's a two and a half because i think the price point is a little bit high i think the age statement's awesome for that price point because i would expect to pay like 150 for yep. that so it is it is a good price for the age statement but the flavors i'm getting out of it when and i'm just going to be open and honest about it when that green spot bordeaux wine finish exists on the shelf for 90 and i can save myself 40 bucks i could buy literally green spot bordeaux wine finish and green spot <laughs> and be the same exact price so again for me at the price point it's a two and a half for now i may come back to this later what do you think yeah i had that set from the get-go too it's definitely because uh to me like average would be three and for the price point at which it's at, because that's how I like to rate my stuff, like uh, price point, is it worth the money? Um, it, it's definitely going to be a, a two and a half, two and a half. I was thinking between a two and a two and a half, but at, at it being neat, it's actually, it's actually all right. But once again, for the price neat, point, it's tipping a three. Yeah. But once again, for the price point, though, I'd still yeah. give it a two and a half for what else we have to or for what else they have to offer yeah. at that price. You know, point. it's interesting. We're on this like Pokemon journey of got to catch them all with the spots. Yeah. And we're missing essentially a green spot finish in Zinfandel and the blue spot, which is new and can't find it anywhere. unless AKA, you spend we're, like four hundred dollars. And no, <laughs> a.k.a. we're missing the Mew and the Mew 2 cards. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who drinks whiskey is like, huh? And everybody who tunes in there as our friends is like, yeah, we know that. Yeah. They're like, Cap, I understood that reference. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, two and a half from both of us. But what do you think? Do you think we're crazy? Hit us up in the comments. Have you had the red spot? Are we just having an off day? Uh, that'd be, you know, entirely appropriate. We we are a few whiskeys in. Yeah. But nonetheless, guys, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We love interacting with you guys there. Nonetheless, stay safe and drink well. You got anything else you want to add? Now, what about you, brother? All aboard. <laughs> Catch you next time. Hey, everybody. Hope you liked that video. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And don't forget to subscribe.
It's okay. He can fast forward this in post. Mm-hmm. <laughs>